So, um, everybody's pretty lit up about the whole, um, Jesse, uh, I don't know, Jesse Williams, I don't, forgive me, I don't know his name, his last name, but, um, everybody is talking about his speech and how, you know, he's one of the best moments in BT history and, you know, you know, it's, it's, I've seen a lot of people kind of stir off and a little bit upset with him. You know, black people are like, well, how come Tariq Nasheed didn't get the award? How come um, there, there's so many other conscious people that deserve the award? How come the conscious community doesn't get mainstream love? Um, you know, I've seen people say, like, you know, oh, well, you know, Jesse, he shouldn't have gotten an award because he's biracial. And, um, but the thing that kind of bothered me the most was that, well, let me, let me talk about why I really don't care about the other two issues. I know if people said that. Like I was saying, um, a lot of people, a couple people have said that, you know, Tariq Nashi should have gotten the, the award or some type of award or acknowledgement, but that was basically it. Tariq on his Twitter, he just said, hey, you know, the BET Awards should acknowledge Hidden Colors 4. He was, I mean, he was really not asking for um, an award, I mean, yeah, for an award, and I, I think it's really not a big deal. If everybody's saying, oh, well, BET is white-owned, it's a token black media, everybody's I've seen all these people post articles from the conscious community talking about, oh, BET is so fake, BET is so uh, whitewashed. 15 reasons why I don't watch BET. And like, everybody's talking about how they don't like BET. I'm like, okay, BET has their own awards. Like, why are you mad because somebody you like, who is black, didn't get an award? I thought BET didn't mean shit to you. So, and another thing with the whole um, the biracial thing, I really don't mind... I, don't, I really don't care about his biracialness. I, I really just feel like that's a non-factor because he's not a woman. And I feel like if this was like a contest of intrinsicness or like, um, you know, black, black beauty standard or, you know, where you have somebody, let's just say, for instance, um, someone says Halle Berry is, was, they just, let's just say Halle Berry got, a, she won most beautiful black woman in the century or whatever. That can be tongue-in-cheek because, you know, it's like, ah, uh, but... Yeah, even though she can blend in with most Negroes, you know, I, you know, she's not fully black, you know. I can get that, you know, because it's intrinsic, it's, it's opinionated, it's just... It's not really measurable, like, I can... That's why I was, a, I was upset when I saw... Amanda Steinberg or Steinberg, whatever her name is, and she's you know the face of black girlhood, and I'm like, you're you're, you're a little too privileged, you know, you're you're you know, I don't, you're a little bit too light, you know, you 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 know, you you're biracial, you know, you ease it back a bit, because you know the average black girl isn't some, um, you know, isn't some uh, um, you know. C or B rated actress or whatever, you know? So, you know, I just kind of felt some type of way, and then she was a feminist, but then she became bisexual. But, you know, I just kind of felt weird because it's like I don't get why she's, you know, the champion of it. I don't get why she's on the covers talking about, you know, black girlhood and all that. And, like, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of too privileged to be you know, in these, these magazines, you know, ease back a little bit, you know, and I, I, I kind of felt some type of way with her getting the award for, um, you know, Black Teen of the Year or something like that, you know, but anyways, you know, you know, that, that's things people don't really pay attention or care about, but, um, for, you know, and, uh, but, um, you know, I guess with dudes, when you give dudes awards, it's usually because they're doing something. It's not because of intrinsics of how I feel about you or, you know, 
putting words, putting a bunch of words together. I mean, this dude put in, you know, Jesse put in work, you know. He be put in work, you know. He, he was teaching, you know, from what I saw, he was teaching what black kids about African history. Maybe before Hitting Colors, maybe, I don't know. But, you know, you know, we can't expect Hidden Colors to do all the work. There's, there's still a need for, you know, you know, black people to still teach authentic black history. So, you know, you know, let him shine. You know, he's building, he's doing something, he's helping black kids, he's addressing the problems. And this has been the main thing about the, the cries on YouTube about, you know, these biracials and usually these biracial women, they don't address black issues. And he's addressing it. And he's saying, like, hey, I understand what you go through. And um, and so you know I you know I I acknowledge his blackness. I call I'll, I will call him a, a brother. I have no problem with that because he's doing something. He's providing for us, you know. So the the coon talk of you know I can't get on his shit because he's biracial or I can't get on his shit because Tariq deserved it. You know, you no, know, he's back, man. He's back. One minute you were saying, oh. The BT, ma- BT doesn't matter. It's not black owned. Who cares? And now all of a sudden you mad because you know Jesse's trending. But anyways, uh, what got me kind of in a rough, a ruffle, and it wasn't really Jesse's fault or Jess's fault, whatever his name is. Um, it was a, 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 it was a tweet. So I forgot by who, but it was a tweet. And they were addressing how, you know, everybody was shocked to see that he has a black wife. And, you know, and uh, he acknowledged black women in the movement. But he only addre- addressed them briefly. He was just saying, like, hey, I thank you, black women, for, you know, raising revolutionaries and doing this and doing the best that you can. And, you know, you know black women were making tweets. I saw an article on Ebony. They're talking about, you know, he values black women, but why is it so hard for black men to value us? You know, how, how can this union of a, a black man and a white woman create a child who loves black women? And, um, you know, we don't know this dude's dating life. You know, he maybe he could have dated white women. And, you know, he just, you know, when he was dating, he probably just didn't care. Who knows? Or maybe, you know, his Afrocentric studies just kind of, you know, geared him towards it. Who knows? Geared, geared him towards black women. You know, to me, this conversation is baited, and it is really, it doesn't need to be had. It, it really doesn't. You know, because, you know, if, but if, if black women really wanted to know, like, why do black men degrade or they don't acknowledge black women or their black mothers you know just look at the poverty just look at you know the homes that black boys come out of and look at the hate that they see at home towards their fathers then you would know you know you know they're they're seeing all of it they're seeing you know their mother and all their female relatives side with you know side with the mother and they're downing their father they're, you know, they're not giving him a chance. They're not letting him into the child's lives. They notice that. And I've also noticed that, um, and, and despite, and the thing is, despite, you know, black men who are attracted to black women, I have seen black, and this was funny because I saw um, people, two people that I went to school with share um, Alex L. Art's, um, his, his portraits, you know, his artwork. And if you don't know who um, Alex L. Art is, he's a, a black artist, and he's been he's been he's he's been trending for a while. Um, he's, he's you know he's, he makes a lot of interesting, um, I guess, comic strips and paintings of you know black issues, usually stuff about gender and media control, you know, black ownership, and you know he does a lot of good illustrations that, you know, talk about um, white supremacy and uh, coons, bed wrenches, revolutionaries, natural hair, you know, he's, he's talked about it all. 
And I noticed two people I went to school with, they shared one of his artworks. And it was of, you know, the one where, you know, the Asian man, the white man, the Hispanic man, the black man. And they're lifting weights, and the weights are the planet, Earth. And their their women, their race of women is, you know, supporting them. They're 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 spotting the weights. And the black woman is on the phone, and she's like, you know, do it yourself, and she's way in the back. And I was looking at these dudes. I'm I'm looking at the dudes who shared them. It's like I went to school with you guys. Y'all ain't in no conscious groups. And, you know, it's kind of funny, like, you know, y'all didn't have problems with women, I think. Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all had the ladies. But the thing is, is that despite what, what I may perceive of them, you know, getting the best of, you know, women, black women's love, you know, I don't know what they've gone through with their mothers. I don't know what they've gone through with women they've dated. And, you know, you know, this, there, there may have been something traumatic that may have happened to them that a black woman have caused. You know, and I think a lot of black women just don't want to hear it. And that's why a lot of black boys and men just have to kind of keep their emotions in check or keep it to themselves because, or date outside their race because there's no, I guess there's no polite, politically correct way to say, you know, black women have hurt me. You know, black women have done something to me. You know, I feel like YouTube, I think that's why YouTube is such a, a haven for black men like us, because we can easily say, hey, yeah, black women have hurt me, black women have done something to me, you know, my mom didn't trust me, this, that, and the third. Um, but, um, you know, back to, you know, the tweet, the, tw- the tweet, uh, you know, about, you know, Jesse, you know, valuing black women more than black men, you know, I, yeah, it's, it's baited, it's baited, you know, I, I really, it's not, it's really not a conversation that even needs to be had, it, it's ridiculously baited, um, because we can easily point at biracials of that, um, who's fa- who had a black father and a um, black mother who didn't even date a black woman, like Tiger Woods, you know, he doesn't want to you know, date a black woman. We, well, we don't really know that, but hey, we just assume that he doesn't because we see his dating patterns of white women. And the thing is, I don't blame him because, you know, you know, he's biracial. He doesn't have to like black women. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't, I, I don't know if he ever associated with them. I don't know the relationship. I don't blame him, but I really don't care. And, you know, if, if, if you know, I can't expect him to like a black woman just because he's a black, he looks like a black man. I, you know, I can't, I can't expect that from him. Yeah, he coons, he bullshits. Not my problem, you know. You know, to me, I don't even see why, you know, black women really care since he's such a coon and, you know, I mean, he plays golf. You know, I don't really see black women, you know, falling into golf athletes or golf players despite his money so it's like you know I, you know I, I doubt black women will really like his lifestyle and shit he may be too boring but anyways um you know i, I, I was i was i saw uh, one of my friends she posted the tweet and that's how i knew about it and i was just kind of like i want to go in but i don't want to go in you know i think you know who knows what if you know, if Jess was a fully black man, who knows what his life would have been like if he had a black mother. I don't know. You know, may have been good, could have been bad, may have been bad, could have been bad, whatever. Could have been good, could have been bad. Um, you never know, but I, I, don't, I don't know where black women kind of generalize this. I don't, I don't know what it is. You know, all he did was say, you know, he just thanked black women and black mothers for raising their sons, despite the struggles. You know, he has a black wife. I really don't get it, like, yet again, this is why I don't like black couples being in the media, because it, it, it ends up being twisted, just like with the Aisha Curry, Stephen Curry relationship. It ends up getting twisted. Oh, they're the, the, they're the 
the, they're the um the symbol or the status of black love. Yeah, yeah, they're you know two bi you know Aisha Curry's biracial and you know let's be honest, a lot of dudes just want a woman that looks like her. You know, and it, it just it just felt like an un an unfair assessment of you know despite the loyalness that black men you know want. You know, let's just be honest. She was a lot of dudes just on, on her just because she's light skinned. And you know, and yet again, I think black women are doing the same thing that niggas did with Aisha Curry. You know, the uh, you know, I wouldn't. You know, I don't think it's gonna be a big effect where black women are gonna be looking for biracial men. I don't. I don't really think that's the thing. You know, they'll be attracted to them regardless. And that, if that's their preference, that's their preference. Doesn't matter. They like dudes who look like Drake. Doesn't matter. You can like who you like. But um, I, can, I can see kind of females kind of twisting it in this, you know, thinking that, you know, biracial men may be a better option for them. Yeah. But, um, but, uh, damn, what am I trying to say? Uh, it's just been a hot and long day, to be honest with you. But, um, what, what more could be said? What more, I, I just, I just felt like black women kind of stretched, kind of stretched the, the, the viewpoint because I, I don't see what, you know, I, I just don't get it, but, you know, this is why I don't really support trying to push couples, black couples, or black power couples in the media because people want to have an exact replica relationship, just like people, one minute people want an exact replica of the Obama family, the Carter family, the Curry family, and, you know, it, it just kind of, it just kind of gets real unrealistic. You know, the morals are realistic, but it, it just ends up being like, you know, I just want someone who's light-skinned. I just want somebody who, um, you know, it, it just kind of seemed like with, with the Obama thing. I felt like a lot of females were bullshitting because, you know, Obama's a corny dude, you know, and, and a lot of corny dudes can be like, you know, you want somebody who's like Obama, but the thing is, you were never checking for us in the first place. And, you know, but uh, you know, but you know, a lot of a lot of black men, you know, I think they have they have a lot of stories about how they feel about women. But I do think, despite the hate or despite the the uneasiness that they have towards black women, I have seen many black men love their moms and appreciate them. I've seen. When I go to, when I'm at school, I do see like when you see the uh, the new potential athletes, basketball players coming in for for like a college tour. You know, I would, they would bring their mom. And how common do we see you know basketball players, football players appreciate their moms to death? I I feel like with with one bad bad egg like Tommy Sotomayor, I feel like with people like him. Or you know somebody who doesn't date us, who someone who doesn't date black women, or alleges that they don't date black women, like um, Curry, not Curry, um, that that Irving dude, Kyrie Irving. You know, I feel like that puts like a that's like one black one bad egg, and it spoils a plentitude of black men who have good relationships with their mothers. You know, I I, I feel like you know black women just kind of want to have black men hate them and then bitch and moan about oh you never liked us from the start oh you're so evil but it's like you know i've seen plenty of black men love their mom look at lebron james you know people have always said that these black athletes are mommy's boys you know they we we've always seen the black mother you know in the in the in the in sports showing up to the games you know, we've seen them, you know, we've seen them showing up for events and doing things for their sons. You know, I, I feel like, you know, I don't think the hate 
is as bad as most people want to believe. You know, granted, there are, you know, black men who, you know, been abused or felt some type of way, but I think black men maybe could let it go. I think some have probably let it let it go or just don't, didn't let it taint their attraction to black women. You know? You know, you know, just like, you know, maybe it could be just like how black men, they didn't let their bad image of their father taint how they're going to be, how they may be fathers, potential fathers. Like, I've seen black men who are like, or black boys who are like, yeah, my father wasn't there for me, but, you know, if I ever get a girl pregnant, I'm going to definitely be there for the child, you know? And if, if black men can do that despite the image of their father, I think black men can are doing the same thing for their mother, even if, you know, you know despite whatever. Um, I, just, I just really do think black women just kind of want to bait an issue, and uh, they're, just, they're just baiting it. And um, they just want black men to hate them. And it, it could be another reason is that they just want to date interracially and just kind of have a good reason for it. Because lately they haven't had a good reason to date white men because, you know, they can't say that, oh, white men are nicer, white men treat us better. You know, we just seen how many, I already seen last week a video of a, white police officer manhandling a black girl but they, I heard she was mixed but they, you know we get the point you know you know a melanated you know black girl or whatever you know I don't I don't really care about the semantics of her race of her complexion but whatever and um you know, I, I I just read the article on Huffington Post about a black girl who's dating a racist nerd. You know, it, it doesn't it doesn't look good for it, like interracial dating, interracial relationships this year because we're seeing the craziness of uh, you know black women dating racist cops, and we we're seeing these weird stories of like you know white men having sex with women in the bathroom and getting them pregnant. You know. You know, in, you know, with black men, you know, the whole, you know, no black girls on my yacht party and shit. And I, I think that people just, I think black people just really want a lazy excuse. That could be, you know, I, I, I do think that, but, you know, I think black women just want a lazy excuse to date interracially. If they want to date interracially, just do it. I mean, nobody's really stopping you from doing that. You know, it, it, it's not... You know, despite the pleas, the, the um, despite the the feelings that black hoteps have, you know, black men ain't gonna stop you. All they can do is give you a bad look. That's it. You know, you're not exiled from the black community. You're not exiled from going to black schools or being in black fr fraternities or sororities or anything. But um, you know. I'm going to just end this here.